What was Oxford um, like as a city compared to... It was lovely. It was so beautiful before the war. Then the Londoners came. (laughs) Should keep that bit in. (laughs) I'm I'm Doris Sims. I was a a, a pupil for a, a year at the college um, just after I'd left grammar school and before I got my first job. The council must have have produced money, I suppose, for a year at the College of Technology, Art and Commerce so that I could learn to, uh, to be a shorthand typist and I also wanted to be an artist. I, I remember the, the school vaguely. It's such a very long, long time ago. After all, I'm 96 today. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> the, the college was called the College of Art, Technology and Commerce, which were the three things that went necessary for people who had left school really there were not many of us could go to college at that time and i loved it there i i i grew up there shall we say i grew up i didn't want to be i didn't want to leave school i was a real peter pan type you know i I didn't want to leave school i didn't want to leave the girl guides and i didn't want to grow up but I did grow up at the school. But this, this is the man I spent my life with <laughs> after, after the school. Uh, we, we, we met, we were introduced at a dance and we went together as friends and we became much more than friends. He wasn't the most wonderful dancer, and neither was I, but we took off from there. <laughs> <laughs> and we found that we had been at the college at the same time, but hadn't met. I'd known his friends, but we hadn't met at all, because he'd, he'd been a pretty good student, I think. And we, we met on Corn Market, in Corn Market, one afternoon. And I blushed. Now, I didn't blush normally. We were talking and he said, would I like to go on the river on the Sunday afternoon? It was, and um, we could take a punt out. Yes, so I did that. And we went and had a couple of drinks of, in the pub. And, and I think the two half pints of beer, which I wasn't used to, had had an effect. And he was teaching me to punt. And I went from side to side, up the bank, (laughs) and everywhere that a punt should not go. And we were hilariously, it was hilariously funny, the whole afternoon. And we sort of went from there, (laughs) somehow. (laughs) And we married in 1942 on Boxing Day, which was a very strange day to marry because no, there was no transport for anyone. Uh, my, my bridesmaid had a, a borrowed dress which was tied up with string because she was very petite. We'd, we'd spent our coupons, so we hadn't got a brides, we couldn't have a bridesmaid's dress. In any, any case, you couldn't waste coupons on a, a one-day dress. So uh, it was a it was a funny little wedding. Now this this picture was taken on the Christmas week of 1942, when we were on our honeymoon in London. There was nowhere to go for a honeymoon, really, because you couldn't go to the seaside. Uh, Hitler didn't allow that, <laughs> and. <laughs> Um, but we, we enjoyed our, our five-day honeymoon. 
This was Jack's 90th birthday. We had a lovely day. It was an Easter time because his birthday is in early April and it was sunshine and all of London was out it seemed in the sunshine on that Easter Sunday. I think definitely we both had a sense of humour. He had a lovely smile. Everybody mentioned his smile when he died and um, he was a very, oh I don't know, he was so true somehow and he, he loved his work, he, he, he really had this wonderful uh, love of engineering. I, I respected him tremendously and I think he respected me and he loved me very much, we both loved each other tremendously and we told one another and we, li we believed it. <laughs>how does it make you feel seeing the you know the big shiny award winning university now and knowing that you once attended um, what it was and to see how I, I'm proud of that I'm proud of that 